Now, uh, Bun Vereen. Yes. That's a play on Wolverine and not actor Ben Vereen. Uh huh. So ben sorry. Vereen about immediately that. came to mind. If you're you're upset about that, You've never I would seen like him to start dance. out. I would like to start out this week's episode of the podcast as I have. Oh, so many times before. Yes. Oh, so many times. So many times on the show have I started the podcast in this way. But I would like to start this week's episode by once again talking about the Secretary of the Treasury. Yes. Yes. You I, know, I, we, we had funny. episode 43 that was completely devoted to the Secretary of the Treasury at that time. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so you know, you know, you know me, Bunny. Always nitpicking about presidential cabinet picks. I, I can't help it. I'm a cabinet whore. Yes, is is what they say about me. So, uh, Bunny, can you tell me right now, off the top of your head, who the Secretary of the Treasury is? Right, right now. Uh, wait a second. The, the Treasury is that. I get them all confused. That might be Mnuchin, but I'm also thinking Tom Price. Yes, it is. It is a former Goldman Sachs banker, sleazy Hollywood producer, and literal definition of the swamp, Mr. Steve Mnuchin. Oh, yeah, yeah. He was the one the who fact closed, the, foreclosed on elderly people and everything. Yes. Yeah. The fact that you really had to struggle to think about it shows you that he's not really on the top of the totem pole. You know, only because we had so much Tom Price news this week. Oh, yeah. <coughs> so Steve Mnuchin. OK, first off, can we please talk about his last name? Because this pisses me the hell off. Yes. <laughs> his last name is Manu Mnuchin. Mnuchin. Yeah. Mnuchin. Although it, the end of that is C-H-I-N. So that's Chin. So it should be Manu Chin, mm -hmm. but but it's Manu Shin. Anyway, besides that, that's not the part that really pisses me off. It's the beginning of it. It's the Manu part because his last name is literally spelled M N U C H I N. Yeah, M N U is how his name begins. Manu. It, it, it just upsets me. Bitch needs some vowels. <laughs> well, it's like Brett Favre. Favre, Favre, Favre. The football Brett player. Favre. Yes. Yeah. It just upsets me. Steve yeah. Mnuchin needs some vowels. You're mm -hmm. the secretary of the, of the treasury. You can, you're a buy golden a vowel. You can't buy a vowel. Jesus. He might need a soul first. Yeah. Just tossing that out then, there. Yeah. A soul and then. He needs a, a vowel. Now, this slimy ass clown is currently the Secretary of the Treasury. Um, it, 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 let me go back to the last name, because that's how much it, it, it upsets me. Mnuchin is not a name. That's a sound you make when you're sneezing. Yes. Yeah. Close, Maxwell, but... Mnuchin! Uh, Niche. Uh, Niche. Yeah, oh, that's no Mnuchin. <laughs> Eleanor thinks my fake Steve Mnuchin sneezing is hilarious. Try putting something on the top Niche. of your head, and then when you sneeze, it falls off. Oh my gosh. Eleanor, Eleanor, look. Eleanor, I've got my podcast notes on my head. Oh no, I'm going to sneeze. Mnuchin. Mnuchin. She's blown away. She's blown away by that. <laughs> I basically just did I magic. That's, to a that's how I get my that's how I get my monkeys, which is what my classroom is called. It's the monkey room. That's how I get my monkeys to stop fighting. I yeah. sneeze with something Good on time. my head. Yeah. Yeah. So Steve Mnuchin, Secretary of the of the Treasury. You might have recently seen this uh, weak chinned Boy Scout diddler on the news. Talking about how NFL players can protest, quote, on their own time. Yes. So screw this guy. Um, 
I didn't even know Steve Mnuchin existed until his wife went on a self-righteous rant on Instagram. Did you hear about that story? Uh, his trophy wife, right? Yeah. Uh, he's, got they, a very, they, he's got a very attractive wife for yeah, such a mutant going, creature that he is. Yeah, they were going off. They were coming off of a private jet and his wife. Like Instagram, them coming off the jet, and they're and, and she's talking about how she lives such a glamorous life, and she's using all these hashtags of these expensive brands like hashtag Gucci, hashtag Prada. So then this woman is this random woman says, "Hey, I'm so glad that the taxpayers can." No, no, no! Why are you trying to buy a game? Stop it! Get out of you're in the store. Get out of the store. You're not buying any characters. Thank God I was here. You have no idea what you're doing. I'm pretty sure I wouldn't go through anyway. Okay, well then, press the middle button. Press the middle button. Press the middle button. Okay, now it's going to ask you if you want to quit. Say yes. Yes, there you go. That's how you get out. Jesus. You almost... It was like a... It was like a Simpsons episode. You almost spent $1,000. <laughs> so, so some woman said... So glad that the taxpayers can. I'm so glad that the taxpayers can pay for this trip for you. And she got pissed uh-huh. and started wrote this big massive rant against this random woman. And and he, he, I doubt that you. There's no way that you have given more to this nation than we have. <laughs> so who is this woman? The wife of Steve Mnuchin. Who the hell is this guy? So this guy is a Wall Street piece of shit. Mm. Uh, fuck this guy. So I've been vicious to him on Twitter recently. And the reason is because no matter how hard I try, I just won't get blocked by Donald Trump. I know. What the fuck? And I try so much and I try so hard and 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 it's just, OK, I'm not going to get blocked by him. Apparently, I'm not important enough. So so I figured what if. I start, maybe the problem is I'm aiming too high. What if I start down and work my way up to Trump? Uh, so I've so I've been really vicious to Steve Mnuchin, to at Steve Mnuchin 1, the 77th Secretary of the Treasury. And also I figure of all the people in, like, in government, he's probably the one who more than likely actually does his own Twitter account. Yes, Maxwell. It's root beer. Stop calling it beer. Stop calling it beer. You want a drink of what? Root beer. Root beer. Yes, there you go. Jesus, you're going to go to school and be like, oh, my dad drinks beer and he lets me have the beer. And outside we have all these weeds. So much weed. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay. No, Eleanor, you can't have my podcast notes. So here's a, a but a few of the tweets that I have uh, sent Steve Mnuchin's way. The first one is interesting because you already mentioned it. I tweeted, isn't it funny how at Steve Mnuchin one looks so fugly yet is married to a model? Yeah. That, that must be true love. True love and not his millions of dollars. Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's see here. Do all Goldman Sachs bankers look like limp penises, or is it just Steve Mnuchin? And and so I I, I started just asking people who were at my house. And I'm like, hey, what uh, what can I do to get blocked by Steve Mnuchin? And I believe it was Destin who said, why don't you just ask Steve Mnuchin how much it will cost to get him to eat your ass? So I tweeted that to him. I tweeted, how much do I have to pay to get at Steve Mnuchin one to eat my ass, asking for a friend who is me? <laughs> but then I, I realized that I was going about this wrong because I should have more self-esteem for myself. So I, I tweeted, correction, how much should I charge at Steve Mnuchin to eat my ass? Because I have a prime piece of at and ass meat. Uh-huh. And then I, I even uh, tagged any ideas at real Donald Trump, but so far, there's no blocking. There's no blocking happening here. It's a shame. It's a shame. It's a damn shame. So, so, so here's the thing. Steve Mnuchin 
is an ultra-rich Goldman Sachs douchebag. He was known as the king of foreclosures way back when. Yeah. So he then got his fortune and he parlayed it into movie producing, which is a really nice professional sort of way to say that he's been randomly throwing money at Hollywood. And I do mean randomly. He was an executive producer for the following massive hit films. A Winter's Tale. Oh, man, remember when we all had a Winter's Tale fever? Everybody. You couldn't go in the store without seeing yeah. Winter's Tale dolls and... Oh, everywhere. Plates and... Yeah. yeah. Everywhere. Uh, Inherent Vice. Oh, man, I still see little kids dressed as Inherent Vice characters every Halloween. Hmm. Uh, blended... Which is interesting. Apparently, Blended was, you're not going to believe this, a film. <laughs> so that's exciting. Uh, he was an executive producer for The Intern. He was a, an executive producer for Get Hard, which is that racist movie where Will Ferrell hires Kevin Hart to teach him how to be tough for when he goes into prison. Okay. Okay. He was an executive producer for the fucking Entourage movie. I, the I'm, Entourage I'm, movie. I'm smelling scam. Well, I literally think that he literally has like billions of dollars. So literally he just said, hey, how can I impress the ladies? I know. I will literally just throw these piles of money at Hollywood Studios. Yes, but even throwing money at Hollywood Studios, you're going to get a hit in there somewhere. Oh, and he does. He did a lot of hits. Um, Collateral Beauty, which I'm assuming is a film. Yes. The National Lampoon's Vacation Reboot. Suicide Squad. Uh-oh. It's important to note this. The Secretary of the Treasury helped create Suicide Squad. And here's here's a kicker. Here's the kicker. Batman v Superman. Oh, man. I am slamming my podcast notes on the table in disgust. <laughs> the, the Secretary of the Treasury was an executive producer on Batman fucking versus fucking superman i'm i'm still suspicious because the movie industry is a great place to bury a lot of money yeah yeah so i thought that i could maybe start a steve mnuchin protest ban where we refuse to watch any of the movies that living nutsack in Armani, Steve Mnuchin was a producer in. That sounds easy enough. What? I can't watch Suicide Squad anymore. That's easy <laughs> as 3.14. Yeah. But here's the thing that you were mentioning. You've been mentioning this 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 whole this whole bit. You throw enough money at Hollywood, eventually you will find a hit or two. Yes. Um, this Gucci shit stain was an executive producer. Dramatic pause. For the Lego movie. Nice. That one did him well. The Lego movie. That was huge. It was up for a freaking Oscar. Chris Pratt. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now that it's was a big movie for him. It, it's impossible for me in this family to not watch that. It's impossible. Just saying that right now. It is impossible <laughs> for me to not watch the Lego movie in this house. I just can't do it. But yeah. here's the thing. Here's the kicker. I'm going outside to let the stupid dog in the house. So action sequence as we go outside. You're all outside with me. Here's the kicker. Here's where things get complicated. Um, he also did the Lego Batman movie. He also helped make uh, Wonder Woman, which I haven't seen yet despite owning. And here, 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 here it is. Here it is. Here it is. He's one of the executive producers for The Disaster Artist. Okay. 
You can see the bind that I'm in. Yes. The disaster artist. The making of the room. I can't not well, watch Well, but with... Yeah, I know. We, we, we've got to watch that. But with his track record, it's not looking good for the disaster artist. Yeah, no. No, he doesn't have the best track record. Because that, like, that was like, what, one in ten that yeah. you read off? Yeah. He also did the movie The House. You know the movie The House, right, Bunny? The House? Uh, Depends on what you're talking about, which one. Exactly! Exactly! Yeah. I got, I got, it. I got, I, I got the house. I got the movie, the house, and I'm, I was all excited. So I came home and I'm like, Emerald, do you know what movie I just got? I just got the house. And she's like, what? And I'm like, the house. It just came out a couple of months ago. Will Ferrell and Amy Poehler in a movie together for the first time. They have a casino in their Hello, house. It's yeah. called the house. And she goes, oh yeah, I forgot that. I forgot that that movie existed. And I'm like, oh well, maybe that's why it wasn't a smash hit. <laughs> Eleanor. So then I, I go I go and I'm like, oh Bella, you know what movie I just got? I just got the house. And she's like, what? I don't know what movie that is. And I'm like, hey, okay, Will Ferrell, uh, Amy Poehler, they have a casino in their house. She goes, oh yeah, I think I remember that. I can that looked kind of funny. So I go to Natasha and I'm like, Natasha, you know what movie I just got? I'm so excited. We got to watch it. It's it. Uh, I got the house. And she goes. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. And I said, well, I'm done explaining it. Apparently, this is the reason why the movie failed. Because <laughs> you say the house and nobody has any freaking idea what you're talking about. They couldn't have called it. They couldn't have called it. A, like, even like Casino House. Like that would have been better. Yeah. You might as well. It, that's like if Baby Driver was just called Car. <laughs> yeah. You know? Mm-hmm. Freaking ridiculous. Anyway. Yeah, freaking Steve Mnuchin. Steve Mnuchin. Okay, I am moving somewhere else, because she's just screaming like like mad, like right into the microphone. Not making this easy on me, Belsy Welsy, Foo-Foo Pants. I'm blaming you! <laughs> <laughs> 